What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a cool day. I'm Biscuit Doug, and we're back in Mountain Blade Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. So we're in Fort Biscuit at the moment after being trounced by about 40 people. Uh, we fought them 6v40, and we almost won. It was pretty much 1v40, and we almost won. Well, we didn't almost win, but we came damn close. We killed a lot more than our six. So even though we lost, it was pretty much good times. It was, it was a, it was a decent fight, you guys. Anyway, we're still in Denmark, and I hate this place. The only cool place in Denmark is Fort Biscuit, and there's really nothing to do here. Ripe can kiss my ass. This <laughs> I hate this place. It's full of Vikings and thieves, and uh, it doesn't do us any good ever. So we've still got that wool to sell, you guys. What I'm thinking is we go back to England in this episode. We start in the south of England, because we haven't really explored the south at all. And we head north, trying to sell our wool as we go, and maybe finding other goods to trade, see what else we can get into. I'm sure we'll find something to get into in the south of England. But if we don't, we head north to Squeen again, and I think by the time we hit Squeen, we'll be strong enough to challenge the snake again, and hopefully kill him this time. And I think the reward for killing the snake, with the, the Abbot of Finian or whoever he is, is 5,000 pennies. That would be a sweet little addition to the coffers, if I don't mind saying. So we're going to head for Ribe and get the hell out of here as soon as we can, because I hate Denmark. <laughs> Once we get to England, obviously, the, the mission's going to be to recruit people as we go uh, and just just try and bolster our forces as much as we can. That's going to be the plan because we're really, really weak now. We've got hardly any money and there's only six of us. It is the six that count, but there's only six of us. All right, you guys, let's get out of here. Yeah, 30 plus 3, it's these guys. These are the guys, man, raiding Franks. There's only 30 of them now. There were 40. I'm pretty sure that's the same party that attacked us earlier. I'm not going to tangle with them again. You leave my fort alone. It's the only one I've got. <laughs> awful, awful people. Alright, where are we going? Port of Dunwick. That seems very, very south. Let's hope we don't find any Vikings. No, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Who are you? Ugh, Frankish Raiders, I hate you so much. Leave me alone! <sighs> oh my god, that was close, you guys. <laughs> that was almost the end for us. Crossing the sea is dangerous, you guys. The town of Dunwick looks rich and well-maintained. Hmm, perhaps they want cloth. Pagans are accepted here. The populace is indifferent to you. That's good enough for me. Let's trade with the locals. Might as well assess the prices. Oh, damn you wages. At least the wages are really low now. <laughs> 327 pennies I can deal with. <laughs> Alright, so the best we've got is buying meat here and selling it at... Uh, what, would you, what would you guys say this word is? Anus? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Usually I try, but what is that? Yanis? Yanis mon? It could be anus, you guys. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the correct pronunciation. All right. <laughs> Buying meat here and selling it at. We'll call it Yanis. <laughs> we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The fine people of that town. <laughs> Buying meat here and selling it at your Nesmon would bring a profit of 217 pennies per item. That's a pretty good profit. And then buying iron here and selling it at Doristat would bring a profit of 204 pennies per item. Nobody's going back to Doristat. Okay, these people probably don't want to buy our cloth, but we could try. Trade with the goods merchant. Uh, no, he's got, he's got cloth. That's not good. He's got a decent amount of meat and linen, though. There's a lot of good trade goods down here. Nicely done. Okay. Unfortunately, this is not the place to sell the cloth. Where's the next major city? Okay. Lundenwick. That's obviously London, right? That's gotta be London. It's on a river. I suppose we could... We could be evil down here and just start attacking traders. That might be a thing that turns out to be quite lucrative. I have been pretty much honest this whole time, which often doesn't pay in a video game. 
Okay. Wow. London's really small. Let's trade with the locals to see what they have to offer. Goods merchant, what do you have? Hmm. 275. Yes, the price of cloth is going up nicely, you guys. We should remember that. I wonder if we should just sell that now. Good. Good. Yes, 1,900. That's something. Ragged tunic, just take it. Just take it. All of this useless as well. <laughs> Whose wine were we supposed to deliver? I'm never going back there. Oh, sell price 11. We might as well just sell it all right now. <laughs> Sorry, guy. You shouldn't have trusted me. Is that all the food we've got? Oh my word. We need new food. I suppose since there's only six of us now, this should last a fair amount of time. At least now we've doubled our money. Good. Yeah, okay, we got pretty far to go. Who are you guys? Masterless Fighters, 16. I'm pretty sure I can take him. Reaver, time to hand over that big purse of yours, isn't it? <laughs> Why wouldn't you hand over yours, you scum? That was a mistake. Now I'm going to have to make your death long and painful. Oh, this guy's this guy's got a this guy's got bars. <laughs> ah! Oh, ooh. <laughs> these guys came ready to fight. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> One for you. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay, this might have been a big mistake. These thieves came ready to rumble. <laughs> I shall make you pay dearly. Oh, I hate the thrust. The thrust is really, really hard to hit them with. <laughs> oh God. I'm in the thick of it. Oh, this horse is taking a beating. It's not gonna make him any faster. Ah! Oh, we're getting terribly beaten up out here. <laughs> so far, I'm really sucking at this game. Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Dead people everywhere. I hate you guys. Oh, I hate you guys so much. Stop picking on the horse! <laughs> Ha 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 Oh no, spear people. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. That one in the wrist's gonna hurt. <laughs> right in the elbow. Right in the elbow. I think I got... I think I got a better chance on my feet. Look, horse. I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna do this the old way. Gotta be taking my stats up <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> Fighting people like this. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, I hate you guys. I bet you're kinda regretting it too though. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna start beating these guys. <laughs> Please don't kidnap me. Oh no, they've taken us prisoner again. Take us north. Yes, take us north. Good. No, don't... don't... <laughs> After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance and escape from your captors. Sigh. 
I, th I think we should teach them a lesson. Yes, I think we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one takes us prisoner and gets away with it. Oh no. There they are. Yes. Lay down the banner right here. Come on, you guys. Don't be scared. We can do it. Oh, you guys are frightfully slow. Frightfully slow. Uh, most, most of you were there. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do here. No. No. Oh. Oh, this is dangerous. I hate these spears so much. <laughs> no. No. Could somebody throw something at these people? Is that possible? Can we f can we fight these guys? Is that possible? No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, our revenge. Revenge is sweet. Oh, those spears suck so bad. They'll get you off your horse in no time, man. I hate this thrust. I can't hit anybody with this thrust. It's so terrible. These spears are going to leave a mark, you guys. One in the elbow, one in the horse. Two in the horse, I think. <laughs> yeah, two in the horse. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, we just made it! Our foes lie slaughtered. At least we got our revenge. Sweet revenge. Sweet revenge! Uh, <laughs> okay, young warrior too. Yes, hire them, hire them. There we go, you guys. I did it. <laughs> Robber capture, reaver capture. Yes. All right, that was pretty good. Share the loot. Everyone did their part. Oh, this is ridiculous. Forty-one to head armor. That's really not that bad. We're gonna give that to one of our party members. It would make us a pretty penny though selling it. Wow, man, we're eating this food really quickly. We need new food. We super, super, we really need new food. Next place we stop, I'm going to have to buy some food. Okay. Where is the next main town? All right, looks like Tomtoon. Tomton. Uh, no. No, 84 masterless men. That would not... That would not end well. <laughs> Let's get to Tom Toon as quickly as we can. There's a lot of robbers and thieves out here, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You guys will be messing with the wrong one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying.
How much are your horses? 10,000 pennies. Ugh, for a meek horse. <laughs> I suppose it's better than a lame pony. How much is this stubborn pony? 5,000 pennies. That's not cheap. Bent throwing spears. Sell price 30. Uh, 278. This is terrible. We need food. Goods merchant. Give me some food, goods merchant. Alright, let's see what food the goods merchant's got for us. Let's take some bread. Boar meat we can take. It's an ale. Yes! We must pay 639 pennies. Alright, fine. Man, Tompton's really picturesque. I really, really like this town. I love how every town is different. That's that's a, a really special little detail. Because this map is huge. They could easily have just, like, procedurally generated towns or, like, put the same fort as fort for everybody. But they didn't do that. Everyone's different. And it's really, really cool. It must have taken so much work. Uh, but Tompton seems like a really cool little town. At least we got some we got some food for our larder. We, we recruited two people. We got revenge on those stinking thieves. So <laughs> life didn't go too badly this time. We managed to cross the sea and get away from Denmark, at least. I hate Denmark so much. We're going to have to go back because we've got business in Denmark. But it's not going to be for a while. <laughs> I, I do not like those people. Ripe can kiss my ass. <laughs> Alright, we're going to see what kind of mischief we can get into in Tomton in the next episode. Go and visit the Lord's Hall and see, see what kind of work they've got for us here. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave it here for today, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.